Must essential learning competencies Explain the properties of solids, liquids, and gases based on particles of nature of matter. We are all familiar with matter. In fact, we are all surrounded by matter in our daily basis. In science, matter is defined as anything that occupies space and has mass. Basically, it's anything that can be touched, taste, or smell consists of matter, like furniture, plants, people, water, and rocks. Yet, there are also phenomena that are not matter, such as light, sound, and other forms of energy. Matter is made up of smallest particles called atoms. It was derived from the Greek word atomos, which means indivisible particle. The study of matter began almost 2,500 years ago, where Lucipus and Democritus believed that nature consisted of atoms and the void that surround them. They believe that there are many kinds of atoms and each one has definite sizes and shapes. In 19th century, John Dalton, an English chemist, said that all matter was composed of tiny particles called atom. An atom is an indivisible building block of matter. Atom is measured in angstrom, wherein one angstrom is a unit length equal to one tenth millionth of a millimeter. When atoms are combined in a specific arrangement, it is called molecules. Matter has different properties, the physical and chemical property. The physical property of matter can be observed or measured without changing the identity of the matter. It can be classified as intensive and extensive property. The intensive property does not depend on the amount of substance such as color, melting point, boiling point, and density. Whether you have little or lot of this property, it stays the same. Intensive properties can be used to help identify a sample because these characteristics do not depend on the amount of the sample nor do they change according to condition. Extensive property depends on the amount of substance such as mass, volume, length, and shape. It changes based on how much a substance is being observed. If more or less would make the observation different, it would be this type of property. While extensive properties are great for describing a sample, they aren't very helpful in identifying it because they can change according to sample size or conditions. The mass is defined as the amount of matter the substance or object has and the measure of space occupied by a substance or object is called volume. Chemical property depends on how a substance reacts to another substance like the presence of air, acid, base, water, and other chemicals. Chemical properties describe a substance based on its ability to change into a new substance with different properties. Chemical properties can be observed only when one substance might become a new substance. For example, a piece of wood can be burned to create a new substance such as ash and smoke, with properties different from original piece of wood. Wood has the chemical property of flammability, which is the ability to burn. One unfavorable chemical property of iron is its reactivity with oxygen. When iron is exposed to oxygen, it rusts. Chemical properties include reactivity with oxygen, reactivity with acid, and reactivity with water. 
The word reactivity just means that when two substances get together, something can happen. The states of matter. Matter has different states. We have solid, liquid, gas, plasma, and Bose-Einstein condensate. And we will focus on solid, liquid, and gas. When we say states of matter, it is based upon particle arrangement, energy particles, and distance between particles. Matter is made up of particles which are in continual random motion. Solid Solids are hard because they are composed of particles tightly packed, vibrating about a fixed position. Solids have also definite shape and volume. Liquid Particles of liquids are tightly packed but they are far enough to slide over one another. The molecules in a liquid, however, are more fluid. Liquids do not have definite shape because they only take the shapes of their container but they have definite volume. Gas Particles of gases are very far apart and move freely. Gases are composed of high-energy molecules that are constantly moving around because they don't have a definite shape until they are forced to take the shape of a container. Gases will also take the volume of their container.